Hi, my name is Han. Hi, I'm Emily. And for our final project, we made a persistence, persistence of vision display. And one of the features that we can do, the first mode, is we can display a persistence of vision clock with the fan. And as you can see here, it's an analog clock. And it's, there's a blue ticking seconds hand, and it shows that the time is currently 6 o'clock. And we can also display arbitrary ASCII characters on the display as well. And you see right now it's displaying DC 4760. And, and this is, now, now turn off the power on the fan and let's watch what happens. And it stays synced because you're actually detecting the period of the rotation, right? So to do this, we have a Hall effect sensor. So you can see it's right here. And we have a really strong magnet, so each time the um, fan goes around, we'll detect the period and um, adjust accordingly. Okay, and you have a you have an alarm mode that you're going to demo. So you're going to cycle the power on the CPU, and then the alarm will go off after approximately ten seconds. I see. Well, that's civilized a small amount of time. Yeah. So. So it's revving up, and the stable while the speed is coming up, which is very impressive. And there goes the alarm. Wow! Well, that would wake me up. <laughs> so the good thing about this stop-start LED strip is that we can adjust the intensity of each of the LEDs, and um, we're able to like, customize many things. Mm -hmm. So another mode that we have for our persistence of vision is a... Um, image display so we can um, pretty much have any like 49 by 49 pixel image and then display on our clock as well. Okay uh, so are you going to program that up now? Yeah. So you couldn't fit both these programs on a, on the same? So we put our um, like the image we store that in flash because it's uh, too big yeah. to store okay. um, each image with the RGB pixel and the location. So, Yes. So, so the way we do the actual image drawing is that we wrote a Python script that basically goes, we compress down any arbitrary image into like a square image and then we scale it back down to 49 by 49 and then we iterate through and basically do a Cartesian to polar conversion because our clock is in sure. basically polar. So pro program while you're doing that. So what the image that? we're going to show is the path of ghost right here. Okay. So we convert it from Cartesian to polar into this format, and then the polar coordinates we convert it into, uh, instead of phi in degrees, we use percent for our clock because we don't use the degrees anywhere else. And then after that, we group it by what percent is supposed to light up for the entire LED strip at which percentage, so zero and then one percent, two percent. So we could have higher accuracy if we spun the clock faster, but right now it's at uh, around the decimal place two, so it's with, there's going to be a hundred of those values when it spins around once. Yeah. And you have enough speed on the LED strip because the dot stars are really fast, right? So you can see it's like it's trying, yeah. So the image quality is limited by well, how dense the LED strip actually is, and we have pretty much like 144 LEDs per meter, so it's going to look, we only have half a meter here, so it's 70, 72 pixel LEDs, I think, so it's just limited by how good that is, basically. And as you can see, like the farther out you go, the farther the pixels are spaced, uh -huh. so it's more accurate towards the center of the... Um, image because that's where um, there's more closely centered pixels. So, so if I if I low pass this by squinting, <laughs> low pass it through my eye eyelashes, then it's pretty clearly the uh, the ghost. Yes. So you can do images, you can do text, mm -hmm. and uh, and it also keeps you cool while you're programming. Yes. <laughs> Multi -purpose. Multi -purpose. And theoretically, I guess it could also do two GIF frame, two frame GIFs, but for an animation. No, nah, I think the this only has I think, enough, uh, memory, enough for memory for one two image, of these. Yeah. Because one of these arrays is around 50 kilobytes, okay. and we store it in flash. So we use like a constant to store in flash. Um, so we could probably only store two. So we just be something like alternating. Things, but okay. Yeah, so. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you.